Um, obviously, come back from a long-term injury at Mansfield. Um, I've got to a stage now where I've kind of been playing reserve games, got my minutes in there, and it's. I was ready for competitive football, and the manager at Mansfield kind of said that that'd be limited there, um, and to to look out and try and get a, a club on loan. Obviously, you've played over 450 league games, but. For York City supporters, just give us a, a flavour of what you're all about as a player. Um, a pretty kind of, I wouldn't say old school, but a kind of no nonsense centre half. Um, I think I read the game quite well. Um, look forward to kind of like the physical side of it. Um, but if, if I get the ball at my feet, I'm, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with it. So, like I say, hopefully I can go straight into my stride uh, on Saturday um, and, and, and they can see what I'm, what I'm all about. Do you see yourself as a, a leader on the field as well? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I've got to be honest, I'm not a, a screamer and a shouter, but I, I kind of lead by example uh, and hopefully, whether it's younger lads or less uh, experienced lads, that they can kind of learn off me. Um, but I'll, I'll organise, I'll tell people where I want them. Um, and you kind of realise the more, the more you talk, it makes your job easier. All right. Come on. Come on. And how do you view the move? It's alone until the end of the season. Is there anything uh, possible beyond that? Um, hopefully, obviously, a lot depends on kind of how I come back from from this injury. Um, the, the aim is to play the next 15 games um, and then take it from there. But first and foremost, I've just got to kind of look to, look forward towards Saturday and, and, and make sure I get through that. Okay. Up, I've played here when they were in the league when I was at Huddersfield. Um, I know what the support's like, what it's like as a, as a, as a club, kind of, um, it's past. Uh, and I know it's a massive club, especially for this league. Um, as I said yesterday, I think um, what, what we probably need, um, as much as anything, is, is a leader at the back. Um, somebody who's you know, very, very vastly experienced, mentally very strong because he's obviously been through injuries and came through them and spent a lot of time sort of rehabbing and getting that. And that builds up a mental strength and I think that's, that's, that's what he brings to us, a lot of experience and mental strength, which, which sort of goes hand in hand with what we've done the other side with Tom uh, Bradbury, you know, young, eager to learn. And I think he'll be good for not just, not just Tom, but I think he'll be good for everybody. I think, uh, as I say, at a time where we, you know, we need a bit of solidity at the back, we need we need to get back to clean sheets, and uh, and you know, just, he'll just help in that respect. Quite lucky to have him, really. You know, he's on a, he's, he's on a good deal at um, at Mansfield. I had a good chat uh, uh, David Flitcroft about him, who thinks the world of him. He's just, you know, he's got players who are playing well, and they're doing well at the moment, and. Uh, once I spoke to, to David himself um, about, as I say, the project here, what we're trying to do this season, what we're looking forward to doing in the future, um, he, he, got, he was right on board and, and, he, and as I say, he's exactly the type that we need.